I use 10 milliliters part A and 10 milliliters part B. I start with A and I pour it into the cup. I scrape all the sides and make sure everything is out. Then I add part B and do the same, scraping the sides and making sure every little bit is out of there. I then stir it for at least two to three minutes until it starts to become clear consistency and the cloudiness starts to go away. As you can see, it's a little bit cloudy at this point still, but it starts to get cleared up. Now it's starting to get clear, and so I can go ahead and move on to the pouring step and applying it with my finger. My process for applying it with my finger is to pour and then apply it with my finger. I used one finger for the top color in the ombre and a different finger for the bottom color in the ombre and then kind of used um, both fingers in the middle. This was the first time I had done an ombre cup as well as the first time that I had not sealed it with Mod Podge before applying the epoxy. So I was kind of testing this to see how it would work. It worked out pretty well. I love the sparkle that it added without doing the Mod Podge. Um, it seemed to have just a tad bit more sparkle, sparkle than normal. I will probably be doing this again. One thing about doing it the finger method is that you can feel the glitter underneath your fingers and you can tell if you have epoxy on there or not. So as you move along the cup and move along the new sides, 
and then kind of go back over it you can tell if you need to add more epoxy in certain places or not which is um, nice because when you're using the sponge it's not as easy to tell because uh, you can't feel it underneath your finger so I really enjoyed using this method Sometimes I believe that I can do anything Yet other times I think I've got nothing good to bring But you look at my heart and tell me that I've got all you see Girl, and it's easy to believe Even though I got a couple dents in my in my jeans Try to fit the pieces together But perfection is my enemy And on my own I'm so clumsy But on your shoulders I can't see I got a couple dents in my fender Got a couple rips in my jeans Try to fit the pieces together But perfection is my Right. Ready or not? Yeah. I go back over it and make sure that every single spot has epoxy and I turn it and then as a drip starts to form I will turn it 180 degrees and continue to do that until it stops dripping and then I remove my tape.